The main reason I am creating this video is because I want to say thank you. I could not have made it to 1,000 subscribers without you. Another reason why I created this video too is because I want to share some of the things that I have learned while on my journey of trying to make it to 1,000 subscribers. So if you are a YouTuber or if you have a goal that you're trying to accomplish, I'm going to share some valuable tips in this video. So make sure you stick around. It's very important to believe in yourself. And the reason why is because it's going to be hard for you to do what God has called you to do if you don't believe in yourself. When I first started my YouTube channel, that was one of my main struggles. I didn't believe in myself, even though I had the experience of the things that I would discuss in my videos. I still didn't believe in myself. It took me, I would say, over a year for me to start believing in myself. The reason why it's so important as a content creator to believe in whatever it is that you are talking about is because if you don't believe it, other people are not going to feel it and also believe it. Whatever it is that you're saying, it, it's not going to be as impactful. So you have to believe in yourself. Whenever you are giving advice to someone, it's always good to have a personal story, something that you have experienced to go along with whatever step that you are trying to tell the listener to do in order to have a positive outcome. Once I start believing in myself, I be began to get comfortable and it built my confidence. And it was easier for me to share my personal stories along with my tips that I was given. As a YouTuber, you are going to need encouragement every so often. It's normal. The first year or so when I started my YouTube channel, I wasn't for sure if I had what it took to be a successful content creator because I was clueless about what I was doing and I still wasn't comfortable being on camera. One person that helped me a lot, her name is Chantel. I ran across Chantel on YouTube and I started binge watching her videos because I loved her content. She gives great advice. So I subscribed to her channel and I also reached out to her because I really love her message. When I connected with Chantel, I only had 100 subscribers. And even though I only had 100 subscribers, she subscribed to my channel and she started promoting my videos on her videos. What stood out to me about that is because most of the time people only promote you if it's something in it for them. I didn't have anything to offer her, but she believed in me. And that encouraged me to continue creating content. And Chantel, I just want to say thank you. Build your skills. Once I start building my skills, that is when I begin to grow as a YouTuber. I've learned about building my skills from True Fam Media. One of the main things that I learned from them is that if you become more skillful at creating content, everything else will fall in line. When I started my YouTube channel, I didn't know anything about tech. I didn't know anything about how to edit videos. And one of the main things that I learned from True Fam Media when I joined their feedback group is that I had a lot of tech issues. What's good about having a feedback group is that a lot of things that you thinking that someone else don't notice in your videos, they, they do. And it helps you to wear some things that you ignore, you do want to pay attention to. So one of the main things that I learned when I joined the feedback group is that my downfall was tech issues. I had a lot of issues with my audio, with my lighting, just things that have to do with tech. So once I start paying more attention to making sure that whenever I get ready to create a video that my lighting is right and that the sound is clear and you can hear me, my content became better and also I gained a lot more subscribers faster. So one of the main things I learned from them is that 
once you start building your skill, everything else will fall in line. Create content that you have experienced. One thing that I can say that I have always done with whatever topic that I'm talking about, I only create content about things that I have experienced, things that I have years of experience in are something that I'm actually going through at the present because anyone can talk about other topics, but you can connect to the person more when you talk about things that you have actually experienced in your life. You may not be an expert, but you have years of experience about that particular topic. For example, my main struggles in my life has been self-doubt, insecurities, low self-esteem, and not loving myself. And so I just recently started creating videos about that topic. And once I started creating videos about that topic, I felt so much more fulfilled because it's going to be more impactful for your audience and also for yourself. Use your story as a testimony to help somebody else. It's very important as a Christian content creator to stay connected with God. And the reason why you want to stay connected with God because, because you don't want to get so caught up in just trying to promote yourself or talking about things that is not in his will for you to create content about. So you want to stay connected with God because the purpose of creating content as a Christian content creator is for God. You're promoting God, not yourself. So stay connected with God. It's okay to take a break. I have been doing this for three years now. The only time I took a break is when I lost my mom last year. I took three weeks off. And the reason why I started back after three weeks is because I knew that I needed to get my life back into feeling normal. And it was normal for me to create content. It also helped me to heal. But one of the main things I had to learn, and I just learned this, is that every so often you do need to take a break. I took a break last week and I feel refreshed. I feel rejuvenated. And even though I wasn't posting a lot on social media because that was my break, I did create some content while I was on break. And I noticed that it flowed easier for me because I was constantly creating content and coming up, trying to come up with ideas for the next video, but my mind needed a break. Everybody need a break sometime. So one thing that I have promised myself that what I'm going to start doing is that whenever I get done with a series of videos, I'm going to take a week or maybe a two week break. That way I can refresh and rejuvenate. And while I'm on that break, I will be able to think clear and be able to come up with more quality content. I hope this video helped you. If so, leave in the comments which tip you like the best. Thank you again for all your support. It means more to me than what you know. Bye.